Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to Thankful Thursday. What a joy and a privilege and an honor it is once again to be able to come into your hearts and come into your homes. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Buki, Sister Sheila, Pam Johnson, Shell, Georgia Grace and her to scene, Sister Ruth, Alice, Stephanie, um, Tinky, Denise, Glenda. Good morning, Tanzala, Roderick, everybody. Good morning, Shauna Boo. So glad to be able to come back once again. Amen. So glad to be able to share what God has laid upon my heart on this blessed, thankful Thursday. And I pray that uh, something said this morning that will help you to go through your day and win big. Anybody excited about winning? Irregardless to what comes your way, you're going to say in your heart and say in your mind that, Lord God, I am going to win. I am going to win. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Mother and Father Tankson. Good morning, Minister Dolores and Valerie and Annie. Awesome. Awesome. Amen. Amen. I want to go ahead and um, just give a brief introduction of myself for all you first timers out there. My name, of course, is the Pastor Thurman Cunningham Jr. of the St. Paul Missionary Baptist Church. And I'm grateful and humbled and elated that you all have decided to tithe your time. Amen. We are grateful for what God is doing in this moment and in this season. We believe God that he's going to do something great in this day, on this day for you. Amen. Stay strong, my friends. Be vigilant. Hold on. Get a firmer grip. Whatever comes your way, know that you are a conqueror. Know that you are a victor. Know that God is on your side. Amen. Let us open up with some prayer this morning. Dearly beloved, we appreciate you so much, Lord God, for just giving us this wonderful privilege and opportunity to just be able to call on your name. We thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus Christ, um, who has given us this wonderful privilege um, through his death and resurrection. Uh, we are alive through, Lord God, sending back the power of the Holy Spirit to undergird us and help us through these rough times. God, we're still going to love on you. We're still going to lift you up. We're asking, oh God, that you forgive us for our shortcomings and our sins. Um, anything that we've said waywardly, any thoughts, Lord God, that we had, Lord God, that was not pleasing. Um, anything that is in our heart that we're harboring. We're praying right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you would firmly forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you right now, Lord God, for our St. Paul family. I want to ask that you continue to bless all the members, all, Lord God, the friends that are connected with us, our family. Um, our co-workers, everybody, Lord God, that is finding some benefit um, in this devotion, um, everybody that is tithing their time this morning, I pray, oh God, that you would give uh, give time back unto them, Lord God, in some area, time back with their families, time back in their marriages, time back, Lord God, uh, with their church family. I'm praying, oh God, that as we are sacrificing these moments, that you would remember, Lord God, our authenticity, that you would remember our genuineness, that you, Lord God, would just remember the fact that, Lord God, we're doing this, Lord God, to grow more closer and to dig even deeper and to go even higher in you. I'm asking, oh God, that you just bless someone right now, Lord God, that's in the fight of their lives. I'm praying, oh God, that you continue to help somebody that is struggling um, in their spirit, struggling in their mind, struggling in their heart, uh, struggling in their relationships, Lord God, struggling on their jobs, struggling in their health, Lord God. I'm praying right now that you will bless somebody that is struggling in their finances. I'm believing by faith that you are one that is very affectionate with those, Lord God, that are brokenhearted. And I'm, I'm praying that you are the one, um, God, that will mend that broken heart, Lord God, that they don't go outside of you trying, Lord God, to get resolution, oh God, for the things that they are experiencing in their lives. I'm praying, oh God, that they will find hope, find their joy, find their peace, find their laughter, find everything in you, oh God. God, we are winners because you, Lord God, did something for us. You won victoriously on Calvary's Hill. And for that, Lord God, because we've accepted you, Lord God, we're going to win too. We are winners too. And God, we love you, we honor you, and we bless you on this wonderful uh, to th thankful Thursday in Jesus name. Amen. 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 I was getting my days mixed up there for a second. All right, guys, let's get some worship on. Amen. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My heart sings. Hallelujah. Naomi and Melanie and Minister Betty. Good morning. Hallelujah. How can 
I describe? A God that's indescribable. How could I explain a love that's unexplainable? I'm at a loss for words. Come on, worship with me. Somebody say, oh. Oh, my heart sings, oh. Oh. Come on, somebody, bless the Lord with me right there. How can I describe a God that's indescribable? How can I explain a love that's unexplainable. Hallelujah. I'm at a loss for words. Hey, hallelujah. My heart sings, oh, oh. I can't say anything else, but oh, my heart sings, oh, yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yes. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah today. Somebody give God the best praise that you can give him right now. For waking you up early this morning. And starting you on your way, yeah, yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yes. Come on, give God some praise right there. Come on, magnify the Lord with me today. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. How we bless the Lord. Yeah, go ahead and get your praise on this morning. Go ahead and praise your God this morning. Magnify the Lord with me. He's so worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the setting of that same sun. He's so worthy. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God bless you today. How we bless the Lord today. Hallelujah. When I think about everything that God has done for me personally, I cannot help but to enlarge his name. I can't help but to extol him. I can't help but lift him up. Oh, come on. Come on, somebody bless the Lord with me right there. He is your way maker. He's your way out. He's your way over. He's your way through. He's your way around. Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is. My heart sings. Hallelujah. Look, I'm tell you something. I told you guys this before. That's how I make it through. When I go through my day, I had a long day yesterday. When I go through my day, I begin to just regurgitate um, my morning devotion. Throughout the day, I recall it. Throughout the day, I remember it. And that's how I make it through. And I'm encouraging you guys. That's why it's so, so, so crucially imperative that you tithe your time. Amen. Amen. That first part of your day, and I believe that you guys have gotten it. I believe that 
I believe that, that that's the main reason why you get up because you understand how powerful and impactful it is. I am telling you the rest of my day, I'm telling you, I can handle it. <laughs> In Jesus, I can handle it. Yeah, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand with Jesus. I can take it. It's because of this, this, this precious moment that we spend together. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get into some word this morning. Let's get into some word this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Our word this morning, our word this morning is coming from the ninth psalm. The ninth psalm. We're continuing in the ninth psalm. Picking up at verse 13. It says, Lord, have mercy upon me. See how my enemies torment me. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. Save me so I can praise you publicly. Ooh, that's so good. At Jerusalem gates. So I can rejoice that you have rescued me. Oh, hallelujah. The nations have fallen into the pit. They dug for others. Their own feet have been caught in the trap they set. The Lord is known for his justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. Amen, amen. How we bless the Lord for the reading of the word of the Lord this morning. So just very briefly, I just want to talk about, I'm coming back. I am coming back. Amen, I'm coming back, y'all. I'm coming back. What do you mean, Pastor Thurman? How did you get that particular topic out of those scriptures? Uh, let's see. This one. That one, that one right there. It says, Lord, have mercy on me. Save me. See how your enemies torment me? Torment me? There it is right there. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. That's where I got. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. Somebody need to shout right there. I'm coming back. Hallelujah. So, so of course, you know, David is, is still pinning these words. We're still firmly um, in his lyrics this morning. We're still firmly where, you know, he is, he is um, in this mode of, of writing this beautiful poetry unto the Lord. Um, and, and he is reflecting um, over the things that he is going through, how God firmly pulled him through. He's reflecting over these moments. And the very first thing that he says in this particular, this particular verse, he says, Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy. And the question is, you know, you know, guys, I always ask these very, very pointed questions. Does anybody need the Lord's mercy this morning? Does anybody need God's mercy? Yes. Yes. I don't know about you, but but I am one that. Don't mind asking God to have mercy upon me. Yeah, you know, we had some situations, uh, some things that happened um, yesterday on our job. Of course, I work in a manufacturing plant for, for the Nissan plant, and, and my line was down. And uh, we were down for a good moment due to, due to some mechanical issues, right? And, uh, and I was just asking God. I was like, God, hey, Lord, have, have some mercy. People are working alone. They're working long hours. Um, and we're asking for some mercy. And I'm telling you, God shows up. Amen. And, and I believe, I believe that that ought to be our cry. That ought to be our plea. God have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon my, my body. Have mercy upon my mind. God have mercy upon my family. Have mercy upon our, our country. Have mercy upon humankind. God have mercy. Right. And then David said like this. See how my enemies torment me. See, what happens is typically my brothers and sisters, and I may not be able to get through all my scriptures today. That's okay, right? I'm one that I've learned to just flow in the spirit. Watch this. He says, see how my enemies torment me? The enemy, um, he's crafty. You all know that. He is, he is, a, he is a sly, slick, uh, he's a sly, slick dude, right? And, and he loves to just stand back. He loves to stand back and poke at you. <laughs> Can I get one good witness right there? That he loved to just stand back and poke at you. He pokes at us, right? He just constantly just, just, just prods us, just constantly just picking at us. I'm just tired of the enemy picking with God's folks. Amen. 
I, mean, I'm, I, I don't know. Can I get one good witness that you just get so frustrated that you're doing your level best, trying to live holy, trying to do right, trying to be righteous. And then all of a sudden you're just getting picked. Right. Your enemies are just tormenting you. Right. And it seems like they know which triggers. They seem like they know that 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 very vulnerable and sensitive spot. Am I talking to anybody? Maybe perhaps maybe perhaps it's your your children. <laughs> they know how to get on your last nerve. I don't know. I don't know. But but sometimes it, it look when you when you think that when you think that you are that you have it all together, then all of a sudden somebody just poking at you. Amen. Trying to get you um, trying to get you to uh, to go ahead and just act out of uh, act out of character. Uh, I don't know who um, I don't know who that uh, that secular rapper is or uh, what he says. Don't push me because I'm too close to the edge. <laughs> I'm about to lose my head. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Pastor used to listen to all that stuff. I just remember that stuff. Amen. Anybody. <laughs> Look, if if somebody push you right now because you're so frustrated, you'll probably go over the edge. Am I talking to anybody? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Enemies just tormenting you. Right. Then David says something like this. He says, look, Lord, don't just have mercy upon me, um, but I need you to do something else. Snatch me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God. I felt that. I felt that. I felt that right here in my spirit. I felt that God snatched me, snatched me because I'm getting ready to do something that I should not do. God snatched me. God, I'm getting ready to think some stuff. I should not think God snatched me. God, I'm getting ready to walk into some places. God, I know I shouldn't go. God snatched me. God, I'm getting ready to do things. The Lord God that is not pleasing in your sight. God, God snatched me. I'm on the edge, Lord. I'm on the edge. Have mercy for me. Because I'm tired of these enemies torment, tormenting me and poking fun at me, right? They see me down. God, I'm needing you to snatch me. Snatch me. <laughs> Hallelujah to the word of the Lord. Thank you, David, for these words, for being a real, genuine, authentic brother. Amen. Snatch me. Yeah, not only just snatch me. Because, because I'm getting ready to do something. Look, snatch me back from the jaws of death. Yeah, because what I'm getting ready to do, what I had in mind, oh, hallelujah, somebody got some, somebody got some tripped out mindsets at times. Because, watch this, he said, because what I'm getting ready to do is going to cause me to go to jail, it's going to cause me to trip out, it's going to cause me to, to do some ungodly stuff. God snatched me back from the jaws of death. Oh, hallelujah, I'm helping somebody this morning. I'm helping somebody. Getting ready, getting ready to walk out of this house Getting ready to leave that job. God, I'm asking you to snatch me back. Hallelujah to the word of the Lord. Speak, Lord, this morning. Hallelujah. Snatch me. Put your hands on me. Then I don't let Holy Spirit sit down on me. Amen. Sit down on me. Getting ready to make some impetuous decisions. Sit down on me. Yeah. Have mercy upon me and, and handle those en enemies for me, God. Snatch me back from the jaws of death. Yes, yeah, snatch me back. And of course, you know, David was one that was on the run. Death was all over this brother. Death, death was on David. I mean, look, death, death, death was chasing him. His son was chasing him. Uh, um, Saul was chasing him. The bear was chasing him. The lion. This brother, I'm telling you. But didn't this brother, was a, he was able to win. Watch this. Let's go on. He says, save me so I can praise you publicly. Oh, that's so good. At Jerusalem gates. So I can rejoice that you have rescued me. He says, save me. After you have mercy upon me. After you snatch me back. He says, save me. So I can praise you publicly. Look, I want to. In other words, David is saying. Th those same jokers. That are poking fun and tormenting me. God, will you do something for me? Will you save me publicly? Will you save me publicly so that I can poke fun back at them? Oh, hallelujah. So I can praise you in public. Look, you, you need not, you need not to just have private praise. Amen. It's good to have private praise. But then there's another thing when God gives you public praise. When you know everybody else have been trying their level best to keep their foot, um, their knee on your neck. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, God, God blesses you publicly. Oh, hallelujah. There is no, there's no greater joy. There's no greater joy than being able to walk in a place where you know your enemies tried to trip you up, 
where you know you've got some some situation where you're where you're uh, you're sick. That sickness in your body thought it had you. And then all of a sudden, God miraculously, supernaturally heal your body. And you looking in your you looking in that mirror and say, yeah, uh, 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 disease and death and cancer and lupus and all these other things. You thought you had me. But look at me now. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody need to shout. I'm coming back. <laughs> I'm coming back. I'm coming back stronger than ever. I'm coming back more vibrant than ever. I'm coming back more brilliant than ever. I'm coming back more wiser than ever. I'm coming back more stronger than ever. God save me so I can praise you publicly at Jerusalem gates so that I can rejoice that you have rescued me. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, bless the Lord. Come on, give God some praise. Magnify the Lord with me right there, Denise and Emma. Come on, Dominique. Bless him with me. Yeah, hallelujah. Let's move on. Let's move on. All right. It says the nations, the nations have fallen into the pit they dug for others. Their own feet have been caught in the trap they set. There it is. Yeah. Um, Denise, I don't, I don't remember if this you sung this song or either Aretha at New Baptist Temple. Um, um, the trap they set just may be for you. You put it in your heart and you can't change it. You, you wrap it in my soul and the world can't harm it. You put running in my feet. Yeah, that, that song came to my mind. These songs as a, as a lad of a boy just came to my mind. Look, the nations have fallen into a pit they dug. Don't worry. Aunt Betty, Aunt Betty, stop tripping. I don't know if you are. I'm just saying I see your name. Hey, Amen. Look, y'all stop tripping about everybody else, about everything else that's going on. God has them. The nations have fallen into the pit. They tried. Look, people are digging these ditches for themselves. They're out there uh, sweating, trying to dig a ditch for you to fall in. Look, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You, you're going to be standing. You're going to be standing uh, on top, just like uh, just like Joseph was. His brothers threw him in the pit. And guess what? At the end of that beautiful story, he was second in, com uh, second in command and they had to come and bow down to him. Oh, hallelujah. They got to come back. They got to come back. They got to come back to you. Yeah. Lois, everybody in every situation that ever tried to trip you up, they got, they've got to come right back to you. Their own feet have been caught in the trap that they set. Oh, hallelujah. Everybody that's been trying to set these snares, look, they're setting it up for themselves. Amen. God has you covered. God is protecting you. God is sheltering you. And that's why David said, he said, when I look up at the night sky, <laughs> he said, what is man that you would think about a little old boy like me? Amen. Don't worry about, don't worry about everything that you got going on. Just pray and understand uh, that God has, you, has got you covered. Amen. Amen. Let's move on. My last one, I'm going to get out of your way. The Lord is known for justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. Yeah, he is known for justice, you guys. Our God, amen, Yahweh, our God, he is known for his justice. The wicked are trapped by their own deeds. Yeah, they, they are going to get caught up in the snares. They're going to fall in those ditches hard and they're going to be trapped by everything that they've been trying to snare us in. That's the word of the Lord this morning. Look, I'm a believer of the word of the Lord, guys, and you know that. And, and I've trusted, been firmly trusting in the Lord um, for a very, very long time. And I've seen, I've seen God uh, win big in my life. I've seen him, amen, I've seen him move people out of my life. And, I've, and God has actually moved me at times. Amen. We got to learn how to be flexible and adjustable and malleable, not rigid. Amen. Because if we're rigid, we'll crack. Yeah, we got to be flexible and allow God to be God in our lives. Because he is known for justice. Amen. I told you yesterday, you know, um, he will avenge. He will avenge all of those cold cases in your life. All of those murder cases, all of those uh, unknown cases, all of those um, forgotten about what seem to be forgotten about cases. God has not forgotten. He has not forgotten about you. And he is he is known for his justice because everything that tries to rise up against us. We've got to understand and know that we're children of the most high God. That God is going to be right there when we need him the most. 
This brother David says, Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me, God. Snatch me, Lord God. Rescue me and save me. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. And I thank God this morning for his unwavering hand. I thank him for his unchanging motives. Yeah. Jeremiah 29, 11, for he says, for I know the thoughts that I have toward you, Sister Ruth. Yeah. Plans to prosper you, not harm you. There may be some time, if you go back up to uh, uh, verse uh, 29 of chapter of Jeremiah. Yeah, there may be some time that you have some crazy situations. There, were, there may be some time that you got to go through some things, but that's okay. God's plan is bigger than you can ever realize. Understand and know that he has your back. I promise you, he's got you covered on the side. And if you definitely have him in the forefront of your life, you're going to continue to walk through the fires like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And your hair would never get singed. Amen. You're, you're, you you would never be touched by the uh, the infirmities yet that the enemies are trying to throw at you, uh, throw your way. Yeah, because God has you covered. As long as you're doing your due diligence, as long as we're doing our part. Yeah, I believe that God will continue to take us higher. Yeah, so even in those moments when you feel like, you know what, God is not with me, he is. When you feel like those moments that that that, that God is far away, he's not. He is with you. And I believe by faith that he's going to continue to take you to places that you would only dream of. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you, Lord God, that, that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are regaining our momentum to come back. God, because you're snatching us back. We was getting ready to do one thing, but God, you snatched us back. We had one mindset, Lord God, but you snatched it back. We had one motive to do something else, God, but you snatched us back. God, I thank you for allowing us to come back. And we appreciate you right now, Lord God, that we're going to go into our moments believing by faith, Lord God, that we're going to stand tall. We're going to be bold and courageous and, Lord God, fearless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah to your name, oh God. We thank you right now, Lord God, for the testimonies on the other side of this. We thank you right now, Lord God, that we're going to continue, Lord God, to stand, oh God, in the places in which you've told us to stand. We're not running any longer, Lord God. We're on the offensive, Lord God. We have, we have the football, Lord God, and we're running. We've got a good offense, Lord God. Our offense, Lord God, is peace, love, joy, and God, we thank you right now, Lord God, for giving us the fruit of the Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, help us to display patience. Help us, oh Oh God, to display love. Help us, Lord God, Lord God, not to get caught up in the vice grips of the enemy and do what they're doing just because it hurts so bad. Oh God, help us to stand firm on your word, knowing, Lord God, that all things will continue to work together for the good of them that love you. And God, we absolutely unequivocally, unashamedly, Lord God, love you on this blessed, thankful Thursday. We're standing, Lord God, right now because you are st you stood. We're walking right now because you walked. Oh God, we're holding on because you held on. Oh God, we're going higher because you went higher. Oh, hallelujah to your name, oh God. We bless you right now. Oh God, we're waking up the community. We're waking up the house because, Lord God, we know, Lord God, that it was you that woke us up. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you today, Lord God. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we're going to go to the watchtower like Habakkuk. Oh God, we're going to go there and we know, Lord God, that you're going to vindicate us. We know, Lord God, that you are one that has justice and and you're going to display it on our behalf in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah to your name. We thank you right now in Jesus' name. We believe by faith, Lord God, that nothing that comes our way will ever be able to topple over us because we have that force field all over us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. Oh, hallelujah. Bless you, Lord Jesus. How we bless you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you right now because we're coming back. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day in Jesus' name.